Greetings folks, I'm just back from the INAV Maiden of the lovely AR Wing Pro down the coast. I've got to stick my fin back on because that got uh, pulled off in a rough landing. Just the glue came loose. I have the uh, Matek F722WPX board in there, the new board from Matex with this lovely little um, breakout board for USB-C and buzzer and DFU button. Uh, the board has the, as I showed in my initial video for that, uh, has the pixel-based OSD, which is nice and sharp. Uh, more features to come in the future with that, hopefully. It's not fully supported just yet, widely. Um, the board is just double-sided taped onto the base there. Plenty of space to fit it in. I have it set up with uh, analog uh, FPV at the moment. I do have the digital system, but to share the OSD with you, I have to use analog. So you can see speed and current draw and things like that. Uh, Runcam Phoenix 2 camera on the ball on the front there, which is my favourite little camera at the moment. Just a 200 milliwatt, 5.8 gigahertz uh, eSheen video transmitter. Beatian BN880 up in the uh, GPS hatch there. And uh, let's just quickly go through the setup in iNav. I have to download the latest firmware from the Matek website uh, because the configurator at the moment, 2.5.1, uh, won't give you the right firmware for the board, so you just flash it with the, the firmware from the Matek website. While we're connecting up, I was just about to do some uh, HD footage on board down the coast. Uh, it would have been spectacular, but I knocked my fin off, so... We only have the uh, DVR recording, unfortunately. Calibration, I think I probably had to do that twice, actually, for some reason. You do the whole six and then it seems to grey out again. Flying wing. Um, there's my mixers. Standard mixers. I just reversed the direction to get everything going in the right direction. Outputs. Uh, nothing unusual there. Don't use presets. Ports. Uh, serial is preset on UART 2, GPS on UART 4, now that is plugged into the little side plug there. I wired up my uh, BN880 to the cable that plugs into the side there, that's automatically connected to UART 4. Smart port telemetry on TX2, the FR Sky OSD is on UART 6, so you can't use that for anything else, that's sort of preset. Configuration. For the uh, barometer, you have to go to the CLI and um, follow what they say on the Matek website to enable the, the barometer, which isn't yet supported in INAV. Failsafe, return to home, PID tuning. I think I just left them at, as default, actually. Yeah, just to the, the default settings. All seem to work very nicely. Advanced. And I just applied the, the usual CLI defaults. Actually, what's the barometer? There we are, the barometer hardware. You have to insert this line. Um, barrow underscore hardware equals DPS310. And uh, that's about all I can show you there. So let's go for a fly now and enjoy the lovely coastal scenery. So there we go. Okay, looking good. Stabilised. Acro, look at that. Beautiful. I'm on analogue so I can record all the, uh, all the goodies on screen. It would be pretty damn stunning with the <laughs> DJI Digital on. Oh, look, this is very nice indeed. Went the right way. Where's the antenna? There we go. There's a little bit of wind, so it's bobbling a bit, but that's cool. Look at that beautiful view going down the coast. Try some altitude hold. Make sure I'm on my own. Yep, all going well. Let's 
try to return to home. No reason to believe it won't behave. Reception's not so good at the moment for some reason. Need some. Here we go. So this thing's made to be used with a flight control board, an INAV or Argy pilot, cruising around on under five amps. Should try some uh, speed, shouldn't we? All right, here we go. Maximum speed, 100, 110, and 20. Battery's a bit low to do that sort of stuff at the moment, but uh, enjoying the view. So this is looking like, like my cruise, probably five, six amps to, to be safe, I think. Reception's not brilliant. Anyway, we're doing well. Land long, that's okay. Ooh, watch the rocks. Cool. Oh, just a reminder the Banggood uh, 1111 sales are on now or coming up soon. Uh, hopefully, these things will be available, will be included in the sale prices. So, keep your eye on them. Be aware of what the uh, normal price is, though, just so you make sure you're getting a bargain. And links in the description, uh, check them out. Um, happy shopping. Thank you.